All right, I'm back in the shop with this spreader. Uh, as you see the white one behind me, I've been trying to rob parts off of it, and I'm yet to find a part that I can use. Um, the only thing I, w I know I will be able to use is actually those springs, because they're new. Well, they were new, at least that one over there I had it made, and these over here are just regular trailer springs that I got out of Tractor Supply and you know they're the right length but they're just not the right ones but anyways uh, I had to take the hub off because of that sprocket so what I did was I went over to Tractor Supply and I bought a brand new sprocket and of course I couldn't get the right size sprocket and that pisses me off right uh, there if you can see it, it says China I think it could be American Steel but you know hey nobody wants to you know, nobody wants Americans to work. Uh, it's kind of pissing me off that way. But anyways, I had to torch the center out, as you can see, to uh, so that that would fit over that axle there, so that the chain would work. Now the problem is that's a 30 tooth sprocket. That 30 tooth sprocket is three teeth bigger than the sprocket that I torched off of there. So I um, kind of got a little bit of an issue there because now it's going to speed it back up again even though I slowed it down with that sprocket over there. So we're close. We're actually a tooth faster than I started out with. But anyway, you know, so goes the, so goes the way it is. And uh, I'm just going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to close it down as far as I can go because uh, there's really nothing I can do with it at this point. Uh, I guess I could change the tooth, the next sprocket, when that one goes bad, which should be pretty easy. But I could change that sprocket to a bigger one so that it slows it back down by three teeth. It's just all. It's redundant bullshit, you know. Uh, what am I looking for here? I know I'm looking for something. Wesley, what are you looking for? Well, I don't know. Okay, okay, I lost my train of thought, which is kind of weird because I'm usually pretty good at staying on task with what I am talking about. But anyway, yeah, so yes, now I remember. Isn't it amazing how you just sometimes you got to walk back over to your, your project you're working on just to remember that you, shoot, where's my damn, here it is. Need, I want to put anti-seize on the bolts before I put this hub back on because more than likely I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a new hub for this thing and that will be the only the only thing that I have to pro oh, fuck that oh, you ever put your knee on a lug nut <laughs> Ooh, that hurt. but anyway yeah so I'm gonna put an anti-seize on this hub this hub is actually in really good shape for what it's been through uh, so I'll just put anti-seize on there and then uh, get her all back together again. And I don't know if I can get you guys up on a bench here. Yeah, ow. You know, if I hurt myself one more time, I'm just going to go the hell home. It's Sunday, and I think somebody's telling me to go home. Boy, that hurt. Damn it. Anyway, here we go. Call me earlier and oh, I've been so friggin' busy. And of course not. This is annoying me. It's really annoying me actually. Hmm. Anyway. Alright. Uh oh that's hot. Well, it can be hot all at once. I'm gonna put it up on here and I don't have to worry about it. Once it's up, it's up. All right, now, a little bit of anti-seize on each one of these bolts. You just don't want them to seize up, that's, that's all. And with fertilizer like this, with fertilizer like this, you really kind of want to keep things as protected as possible, especially with sulfate, because ammonium sulfate has sulfuric acid in it, so, or it's used to make it. Um, when it was in the steel industry, this was a byproduct of making coke, what they called coke, or the coke process. And it was sulfuric acid mixed with the coal to make the coke. Don't ask me what that does. I have no idea. I don't know the process because I never worked in a steel plant. But I know that the coke works 
at Bethlehem Steel over here was a very dangerous job. A very, very dangerous job. At least I was told by a couple of guys that worked there over the years that if you worked in a coke plant, your life expectancy was only a few years. Um, there was a uh, couple of accidents that had happened in the Bethlehem Steel, and one in particular that he told me was a guy who was working in the in a floor below and someone had dropped a steel rod upstairs upstairs you know like upstairs in your house well the steel rod traveled to the story below and the guy the guy that was in the bottom story well he ended up getting impaled by this rod because the rod had traveled through the floor, through the hole, through the floor, straight down, and impaled him right to the right to the ground below. Kind of a morbid, disgusting thing to have happen to you after you'd worked there for a long time. But you know what? Such is life. Or death. Or anything else for that matter, you know. With life comes death, that's all there is to it. Maybe I get out of here too. Uh oh. Well, that was stupid, that wasn't it? Oh, always check your impact gun that's going the right direction before you go ahead and fire it up. You can't really do it. Hmm. This is a difficult spot to work with an impact gun. As you can see, maybe, I got all those on there. But I'm just going to go get a three-quarter inch wrench and see if I can tighten them up a little better. And I'm going to stick it on there and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get back to work here. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I got the, I got it all back together again. And yeah, the, the, the welds look good. The sprocket looks good. I did not put the little deflector gizmo on the back side of it, which holds the chain from flipping to... The axle side of the thing, so I have to be kind of careful as to when I put the put the chain on. I'm gonna have to guide it down there. But I'm having other issues with this thing, like rot. <laughs> I've got a piece of angle iron here that's just completely rotted off, and that is causing this to be very flimsy. So what I'm gonna do is blow the shit off of there with some air, and I'm going to go ahead and lay another piece of. I think I got a piece of flat iron there, and I'll just brace that so that it's stiffer than what it is currently because when I put the spring tension to it it actually just wants to bend that to the side and that's just par for the course um, seriously considering either purchasing the undercarriage for this thing the steel part and then cutting off the stainless and welding it back onto that cart or just building it myself which I'm opting that's probably what I'll do but it won't be this summer obviously for obvious reasons because uh, I'm busy <laughs> anyway uh, yeah so I'm gonna get on to that thing and see what I can come up with and uh, show you the end result <laughs> 